a Dragonfly helicopter for $2 at a thrift store in really nice shape. I found another one for $2 in really nice shape. The biggest problem was one of the rotor assemblies pulled free. The other one was the rotor assembly shaft was in there, but it broke off the top. And I was hoping to figure out some way to salvage something, which I'm not ready to give up yet, but I'm not completely happy with it. But what was nice is I was able to pull parts off this, pull parts off that, and have some really decent parts. Uh, the spool, I'm going to show you this. I don't remember if this came assembled for you or not when we were little, but it's two pieces, spring-loaded, and the thread is trapped inside of there. The bottom of that, I left that one in there because I, I could get it out. You can squeeze it out with your fingers and take it out. This one has the hook. But I wanted to show you that, that that does come out of there very easily. Just compress them together, and then I slipped the knife behind one side and popped it out. I picked that side because it had a groove in it that I could get the knife in. I don't know if this goes with this or not. For some reason, I have three of these. One end is melted. This plastic is a much lighter plastic than these other pieces. I don't even know if this goes with this or not. Someone may have been salvaging it. On the wings here, I don't know if you had ever seen those pulled apart. Little notches there. Put it in, slide it back to put it in, slide it forward to take it off. Engine covers, indicated by a right and a left. That's nice. Yay. There's a glossy area and a dull area. And it looks like something has gone across. See, there's the gloss. Something has gone across there. And it's the same on the bottom here, too. Right at the seam. I believe that's the sonic welding, the traces of it. This one, somebody had taken apart trying to rescue it. It wasn't fitting together properly. Some parts were stressed. Some parts were broken off. They ran an eye hook in there. Almost made it successful. Popped out the side. They did that with a little nose too. Did it on one side. They weren't happy with it. And they punched a hole on the other side of it. Sitting in there. And it was always rattling. So I got curious as to how this was put together. If this thing was going to be falling apart. I didn't want to give up on it without snooping things out. This one has got that streak right there looks wobble, wobble, wobble. i cut it as best i could down that seam here and then try to cut down the seam and my knife wandered so that wasn't working so i pried it apart to get to the insides to get to the guts that sits on top of that like this and creates the seam this switch assembly comes out very easily it's got two prongs, and I, you can sneak a blade down one side and press that in, and sneak it in on the other side and, and press those together just lightly and pull it right out. It was not a problem. This one does turn, but it seems to do better if I put a little bit of weight on it. I can feel it grabbing all the time. I don't think anything's rattling. Oh, the seats. Look at this. Press from the bottom, carefully pull it out. I'm guessing this is supposed to act like a spring. And that piece there. This one. When I pulled on it, this piece fell out. And I have a feeling that that is supposed to stabilize or guide this. So it's right in there. And when that's collapsed together, that piece will keep this from changing directions on you and getting too sloppy. It helps to stabilize it. I can't get this off. What I remember of these, my brother and I had so much trouble keeping them on, and now I can't get them off, and I don't know why. It grabs this just underneath here looks the same way and that plastic I cannot pull that off there and I'm afraid to so I'm wondering about boiling it and trying to pull it off but it looks just like that on that end so I'm guessing that's been press fit in there too while messing around with it 
because I thought, oh, this is bent and it's flexed and it looks stressed. I wonder if I can fix it. I cracked a little piece off right there. And I was just wiggling this to see if I could flex those back together, if that's what I would do after I try to dip this in hot water. I'm going for that if you had to try and fix this and you open it up and you're upset, to get to everything, you've got to beat that sonic weld somehow. And then you've broken everything where it is a seam to get to that. And I don't know that you could access it from the back seat because this is a closed assembly. It would be completely closed and sitting in the helicopter right here behind the green. Rotor assembly would fit down through here. Inside of there would finally sit in this little bitty hole pressed into there. But what fits here is this little piece. It's pressed up to there, I'm guessing. This was free floating inside that box. There's so much room for this thing to travel and turn itself around that if you were aiming to push it back in there, maybe you'd find it. There's no guarantee and it can turn on its side like that. It does every time. So there's, and also I noticed this about it. But how would you hold, you'd have to have a super duper magnet, put it under here to go through all this plastic to find that thing, to hold it into place and pull to get this off of here. And you may not want to do that to pull on it because then you'd break all of this. So disappointing. But I am glad I opened this up to see how this works. All right, when this piece is laying like this, this seems to operate, I don't know what to compare it with, except for a screen, window screen. Squeak, and then lift up. Let's see what's the top and what's the bottom. All right, this spring loads here in this L, this long L. Pull your spring up a little bit and have that loaded. And that spring does not like to be pushed. It's also kind of rusty. It's a sturdy, sturdy little string, a spring. It's a sturdy spring. All right, and this gear sits in this hole. Right there. And it's going to run along here on this track that has teeth. I've got this upside down now, which you can probably see. I'm just going to put that on there lightly. There it goes. That's the guts.